Math Model, Second Semester, 2011 ACP Review, Objective 3, Compare Theoretical and Experimental Probability. In the scientific method, there are two things that work hand in hand. First, there's theory. It could be the theory of evolution or any other theory or hypothesis. And then an experiment is designed to test that theory or hypothesis. And math will state a theory. That theory is that in the tossing of a coin, that there is a one-half or 50% probability of tossing a heads. But when we did the experiment making 10 attempts, we got four heads and six tails. So that will be a two-fifths or 40% experimental probability of tossing heads. So we can say that there is a 10% difference between the theoretical and experimental probabilities. If there is no mention of experimental the or theoretical probability, it's most likely theoretical probability. If it's a table with results recorded, it's definitely experimental probability. Problem 1. For the spinner below, there were 40 spins made. The table shows how many times each spin showed a given result. Which of the eight numbers spun had an experimental probability of 20%? We can try each of the answers and see which one gives us a result of 20%. For answer A, which is number one, to determine a percentage, we place the total times the number of times one was spun, and that was five, and we divide it by the total number of attempts, 40. Press enter. We get 0.125, which is 12.5%. It's not 20% or the correct answer, so we cross off answer A. Since we're looking for 20%, we need to have more than five times landing on the space, so number two with only three times landing will be even less than 12.5%, so we cross off answer B as well. To try answer C, how many times the spinner lands on 7, we have 8 divided by 40. Press enter. This time we get 0.2 or 20%. And that means that number 7 is the correct answer, so we circle the, where the correct answer is found, C. Next problem. In rolling a pair of dice, what is the probability of getting a 12? In this problem, what are we talking about? Theoretical or experimental probability? Since we don't have results of, of attempts, this probability is theoretical. What's the probability of rolling 1, 6? Well, it's 1 over 6, or 1, 6 for 6 sides of the cube. And what's the probability of that second die also being a 6? Well, it's also 1 over 6, or 1 6 to combine the two probabilities, we multiply them together to get 1 over 36. And this is where we find 1 divided by 36. So we circle our correct answer, D. Next problem. The table shows the data for attempts using the spinner. What is the difference between the experimental and theoretical probabilities of landing on the green space? What does this word mean, difference? It means that we find the experimental probability and subtract the theoretical probability to find the experimental prob probability, we will need to add up the number of attempts found in the right landings column. We f press enter and see that we have 50 spins or attempts, so 50 will become our denominator. We take the number of green landings divided by the total, so that's 11 divided by 50. Press enter. We get an experimental probability of 0.22. Since we have 1 in 5 chances of spinning a green, we can say that the theoretical probability is 1 out of 5. So we subtract 1 over 5. Press Enter. We get a difference of probabilities of 0 0.02. Since all our answers are in percentages, we need to convert this number into a percentage. So we multiply by 100. Press Enter. We get 2%. And this is where we find 2%. So we circle our correct answer, A. This has been Math Model Second Semester 2011 ACP Review Objective 3, Compare Theoretical and Experimental Probabilities. Thanks for viewing.